The former Crown Prince of Jordan and King Abdullah II's half-brother, Hamza bin Hussein, has been placed under house arrest. The military has sent out a stern warning to the ex-Crown Prince asking him to halt actions targeting security and stability of the country. However, the military denies reports of the former prince being arrested. The military has added that the warning to Prince Hamza was part of a broader ongoing security investigation which would be made public soon. The move apparently comes after a visit by former prince to tribal leaders where he is said to have garnered some support to condemn the king. The military has also detained top officials of the country including a former minister, a junior member of the royal family and 20 unnamed others. On the other hand, the ex-crown prince has detested the move. Former prince Hamza has denied any wrongdoing and said he was not part of any conspiracy. He has released a videotaped message describing the sequence of events. He was visited early on Saturday by the country's military chief and told he was not allowed to go out, communicate with people or meet with them. Later, his security detail was removed as well and his phone and internet service had been cut. In what can be called an outright and direct criticism of the royal family, Hamza has gone ahead to call this arrest a move by authorities to destabilize the nation. He has lashed out at the ruling system without mentioning the king by name, saying it had decided that its personal interests, that its financial interests, that its corruption is more important than the lives and dignity and futures of the 10 million people that live here. It is rare for a senior member of the ruling family to express such harsh criticism of the government. He has criticized the government in the past as well, accusing officials of failed management after they approved an income tax law in 2018. Prince Hamza is not seen as a major threat to Jordan's monarchy and has been marginalized for years. Remember, his title was stripped off in 2004. However, the recent move against him represents the first such incident involving a close member of the royal family since King Abdullah came to the throne. It showcases Jordan authorities' increasing concerns with former prince's renewed efforts to build ties with disgruntled figures within powerful tribes. Meanwhile, regional powers including Egypt and Saudi Arabia have voiced support for King Abdullah and its efforts to maintain stability. The United States, which is allied with Jordan in its campaign against the Islamic State group, described the monarch as a key partner who has its full support. United States has said they are closely following the reports and are in touch with Jordanian officials. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.